Well, listen to that bad boy purr, would you? Running beautifully. Even put it into reverse, backed it up a little bit, put it forward, drove forward a little bit. What were the problems, you might ask? Well, it sounds like it's still missing on one cylinder. No big deal, but we needed to put in new points, new condenser, recap the points. The, uh, the main thing with the power was that the main power is supposed to come off of that starter. But ours goes down to the battery and it had a couple of crimp connections like these. And then you guys know that when these get a little bit corroded, they won't work properly. So, they got corroded. I didn't get enough juice. I cut them off, put on new ones, fired right up, been running mint. I've got to work on setting the field in the generator next to see if we can get her to charge on her own. But, uh, sounds pretty healthy for a 1946 KB2 goes into gear like butter too really really sweet so next thing we might try setting the field and if I'm really lucky I just have to put some fluid in the brakes make them work. Oh, you can see that we're going to set up the bed with this nice old barn board we had kicking around. Gauges work. Got my temp gauge, my oil gauge. Of course, I don't have a fuel tank, so I can't have that work. And the amp meter works. We just aren't charging. Well, I'm pretty happy. And the unknown mechanic is an international guru. He had a number of ideas for me, but ultimately, as you guys all said, it's the simple things that make it run best. Now on to a whole new wiring harness. Boy, it's gonna cost me a lot of money. <laughs>